Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. But today's video is going to be all about the schnoz, my nose, the update we've all been waiting for. <laughs> And by we all, I mean, that video kind of got some traffic, but I'm happy to share all the knowledge and experience that I've been through with you guys. I just want to get this out of the way, so I'm going to let you guys know. My surgeon was Dr. Davis, Dr. Dean Davis in Tampa, Florida. And if you go to this surgeon, be sure to let him know that I sent you or that you heard about him from me. And the cost of the surgery was in total $8,300. But what people don't tell you a lot of the times, I'm sure it's not on purpose, is that there are a lot of mini costs involved. So 8300 was the total price, but in that there's the anesthesia fee, there's the facility fee, there's the actual surgeon fee. Like there's a lot of things that go into the total price, so it could be different wherever you go. I had a consultation at another spot and they did it differently, so... That's just my experience, but I wanted to get that out of the way because I know that will be a common question. But today I'm going to tell you guys all about my healing process, a little bit more about the actual process and what went on, and show you guys some progress pictures, videos, and whatnot. So I want to include some before photos and footage. This is my nose prior to the surgery. I look back now and I realize that it was not as big as I thought it was, which I'm not sure if that's a common... Thing or not um, but a lot of people were like oh you didn't need it and now I kind of see that but it doesn't matter at the at the end of the day I really wanted it and I'm happy so that is the before my concerns were mainly the dorsal hump the bulbous tip and then it was slightly turned up to one side so I wanted it more symmetrical so I had a rhino septoplasty so my surgeon does a septoplasty in every surgery just to make sure the septum is straight that's going to improve your breathing and if you're in there you might as well do it i will say i have not noticed any increase in quality of my breathing i also have asthma so that could definitely be a factor but i haven't like i said i haven't noticed any improvements in my breathing or detriments so it's kind of neutral in that regard a lot of people say i want to address some things too at first a lot of people say your kids are going to be so disappointed. First of all, who knows who I'm going to marry? Who knows if I'm going to have kids? But I really hope my children won't be disappointed. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the guy I will marry will have a tiny nose. Who knows? So if you haven't watched my entire vlog, I'm going to sum it up a little bit for you and let you know that I had these stints inside my nose for seven days. After I got them off, I had taping on my nose for about an extra week just to help it settle and also as a precaution because people will be more careful around you if you have tape on your face so just immobilizing that part of your face as much as possible so that's what the tape was for it also helps with swelling after surgery about up to two weeks after it i was feeling still really tired and i had so much to do because it was finals week so it really sucked but i had to push through um, so when I first took off all of the tape and whatnot, this is what it looked like. It was pretty fat, um, which is to be expected, obviously, because it's super swollen. I mean, there's been a lot of trauma to the area. It wasn't that cute, but it also wasn't that ugly. Like, I was super happy to finally see my nose, and... I don't know, I just, I loved it. And I still love it, it just is a little bit skinnier now. In the months following the surgery, I've been pretty okay. I have had a couple instances where I've had friends, aka my friend Avery, did it a lot. <laughs> love you, Avery. <laughs> um, would like hit my nose, obviously not on purpose, but it hurt. It also hurt my mental state because I'm like, what if this messes up my nose? Like, what if this is it? So there is a lot of protection, I feel, around my face, even now, but, you know, I'm not really seeing anyone, so it's not as bad. But when I was in the club, I got hit in the face. I don't think any of those little bumps and thumps really affected my nose. It did cause it to swell a little bit at the time, which was horrifying, but it's fine now. I think that most of the swelling is gone. They say that it takes up to 12 months, sometimes longer, but most of the swelling is down by the six month mark. So here's where we're at. So here's my side profile. Three quarters. Front. 
left three quarters and then left profile I also want to talk about some things that I'm not so happy with about my nose. There are very few items on this list, but I thought I might as well talk about them with you guys because I want to be as honest as possible. I have a problem with my nostrils, but it's also my fault because these are the nostrils that I had before. But I've noticed that when one insecurity is fixed, I tend to look for another, you know, really healthy. So once the bump was gone and the tip was a little bit brought in, I realized that my nostrils are two different sizes and heights and widths and everything. The only thing that I'm kind of unhappy about in terms of the surgery is the asymmetrical swelling or asymmetry of the tip. Um, you can't tell right now, but this side of my nose is a lot more slim, like it's very skinny, the swelling has gone down a lot. This side of my nose, if you feel them, this side goes like this, this side goes like this, so it's like... It's been a problem since the one month mark, so I'm not sure if it's my cartilage, if it's scar tissue, if it's never gonna go down. I was told to hold this side of my nose and massage in a circular motion this left side to help with swelling. But honestly, at this point, I just think it's asymmetry and scar tissue or the cartilage, which I'm not sure if that was done by the surgeon or not. But I would like to say that I'm 95% happy with it and I would 100% do it again. Like, I don't regret anything. I just do want to be honest about what's left, what's insecure, what's still healing. I want to show you guys the healing down the months. So I want to show you guys one month after surgery, two months after surgery three months after surgery, four months, five months, and then six months. Something to talk about is the scar. So I had an open rhinoplasty and the scar is right here. I've put makeup on it. It's extremely non-detectable. Everyone I've told that didn't like know me before it, no one could even tell. Like no one could tell that I'd had surgery or anything. It's very non-apparent and it also hangs right below your nose. So unless someone is looking straight up from under your face, they're probably not gonna see it. And after a year, I'm assuming it'll be completely gone. But as for right now, it's still existent and a little bit pink. But other than that, nothing I can't live with. It's not even a problem at all. I just wanted to mention the scar. I just want to say that it. if someone is watching this and wants to get a nose job and thinks it'll like change their life, maybe it will. But for me, it wasn't super drastic. I am way more happy with my appearance now, but it's not like I get any more attention from girls or guys or anything like that. The only thing that's actually probably changed is that now my DMs are full of like questions about rhinoplasties, which I didn't ever think would be my life, but it is. So I'm happy to help everyone out if you wanna hit me in my DMs. My Instagram is Erica Sager. I reply most of the time, sometimes I forget, sorry. Um, but yeah, some of you are probably wondering about familial support. So everyone in my immediate family was quite supportive, very much not so at first. Um, I mentioned that I had to make a PowerPoint, which I'm going to walk through a little bit, um, for my mom to convince her to let me, and I say let me because I was no longer a minor. I, this took place when I was 20 years old, still 20. My birthday is in less than three weeks, and I'm really trying to hit 30k. I know I'm still like 6,000 something away, but I really just, I like to set big goals. So if you guys see this, please subscribe because... So yeah, I want to walk through this PowerPoint a little bit that I made for my mom. If you guys want to copy it, I don't care. Go ahead. Um, welcome to my PowerPoint. I love you, mom. Why are we here today? We're here because I want a rhinoplasty. I know it may seem hard to support me, but bear with me. Why? What's involved? What I would like? Picture time. <laughs> so I included pictures with what my like problems were with it. Here's the surgeon, why I'm considering him, some of his past works, who's going to pay for it. And because I'm Jewish um, and there are a lot of stereotypical 
uh, attachments to my nose being big, which by the way, I would love to dispel this real quick. A lot of Jews are either from the Middle East or from Eastern Europe where big noses are the common feature. So if you find anyone from that area, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, if that's where their ancestors are from, it's likely that they have a big nose. It's just typical of the region. I just want to put that out there. I don't love anti-Semitism. It doesn't separate me from my culture. I'm not super religious, but it doesn't separate me from any of that just because I got a nose job and tons of Jewish girls get nose jobs all the time. So, and then just addressing some common questions. I had two consultations for my nose job. Honestly, I would have gone to more, but I felt pretty set about Dr. Davis after seeing his work and results and meeting him and everything like that. But I went to two doctors to meet. Um, one of them didn't cost money, but the consultation for Dr. Davis did cost money, but I considered it an investment with the little money I did have. So a lot of people say they're really scared of pain, but understand that they're going to be giving you pain meds. You should absolutely not be abusing these, but you really don't even need them by like the third day um, just because it doesn't really hurt after that. It's just way more uncomfortable than anything because you have these huge things sitting in your nose and it's to help the integrity and like the structure of your nose while it heals, especially in the first seven days. And I mean, I'm saying it's still worth it. Like people comment all the time, I'm so scared. I'm worried I won't be able to breathe. Like you probably won't be, but I have asthma and I did it and you will survive if this is something you really want. I just don't get it or don't i'm not invested but i just want you guys to do what you want to do and also in the first couple weeks it's best not to laugh or smile super hard because your mouth and your nose are extremely attached and then also something i mentioned before but it doesn't get much talk time in videos like this is that it might hurt your teeth because your septum is attached somehow in structure to the roof of your mouth and the roof of your mouth are like in these four teeth so I had a little bit of tooth pain which they told me is very common also something I didn't mention before but they give you a pregnancy test before your nose job just to make sure that you're not pregnant because that surgery would be an extreme risk I wasn't pregnant so we proceeded with the surgery what else when I first got there they hooked me up to an IV I paid most of it the day of I had to pay a deposit when I booked my surgery date and also, oh my god, this was such a hassle. Before I got my nose job, I had to have clearance from my primary care doctor that it was okay because of my asthma and my lungs and all of that stuff and I almost didn't get the surgery because of that because the office was closed and it was just this huge deal. So if there is something like that where you have to organize that, please make sure you take care of that weeks before because I was sitting there like five days before my surgery not knowing if I was gonna be able to get it and it was stressing me out so, so much because they didn't even have another surgery date until like two months down the road and I wasn't gonna be there, it was a big deal, but we worked it out. I regained my sense of taste and smell almost immediately after the first week because the stints in your nose really impede those senses from doing their job so food didn't taste like anything for a week i lost i think like seven pounds just kidding i could only eat soft stuff so i was eating yogurt soups mac and cheese from panera um but i still ended up losing weight because it was just really hard to eat i had no appetite i was horrified to run for the first time um just because i felt like all my nose bones were gonna fall out uh, but it didn't happen, but I definitely didn't work up to a jog or even a sprint or anything until about eight weeks after the surgery. I just wanted to be as sedentary as possible, didn't want to mess anything up, so I followed the orders on that for sure, and it wasn't very hard because I wanted to be lazy anyways, and it was like winter break, so. Also, a nice resource is realself.com. They have a ton of pictures of before and after rhinoplasties and like any question under the sun you could have about rhinoplasties is on that website. This isn't sponsored by any means, but if you see this real self and you wanna sponsor me, feel free. So all in all, I think that's all of the updates I have. If you guys have any further questions, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on the post notifications, comment below. It really helps me with the algorithm and everything like that. 
and I appreciate it so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Bye guys.